So you're interested in buying a house, but your credit score is lower than my calc grade was junior year. As you probably know, credit is a very important part of being able to purchase a house. But one pretty infuriating thing about credit is that very few people talk about how to actually improve it. And let's face it, most Americans are pretty bad at paying off debt, about saving money, and about improving their credit. Around my head right now, I'm going to put the big four loan types and the minimum credit mostly associated with those loan types most of the time. If you don't know your credit score already, go ahead and download Credit Karma or Credit Sesame. Either one of them will give you one of your real credit scores, um, and then you'll have to pay extra to get the other ones. Uh, but if you download both, I believe you can see two of your three credit reports. And it's a really good idea to start uh, finding out exactly where your credit really is. So in this video today, I put together my top three ways to improve your credit score. And maybe you're right on that 600 credit borderline and you're hoping to, to push yourself into that healthy credit zone so that you're able to purchase a house this year. And hopefully this video could do that for you. But before we start, please go ahead and smash the like button like it cut you off on 81. And if you're thinking about buying a home this year, uh, I'd love to send you my free first time home buyer guide to home ownership uh, to get you started. So if you want to email me at Zach Williamson real estate at gmail.com, I can send that over to you immediately. The number one way to improve your credit score is to improve your credit utilization. So what is credit utilization anyway? It's basically the amount of credit that you're using that's available to you. So for instance, if you have one credit card and you, you could use $3,000 on that card, uh, but you've only used uh, $1,500, then you're at a 50% credit utilization rate. And improving your credit utilization is not only the most impactful way of changing your credit score today, um, but it's also made it the quickest. You can literally do this in the next few hours. And basically the way this works is the lower your credit utilization rate is, the better. And so you might have already figured it out, but there's really two ways to do this. The first way is the way that I would do it, which is pay down your debt to nothing as soon as possible. So if you, if you only have $1,000, uh, on a credit card, I would pay that off as soon as you can. If you if you have a car loan or something, I would pay that off as soon as you can. So so you can work the debts out of your life. And truly, you should never hold a balance on a credit card anyway. You don't you don't want to be paying those interest payments because a lot of credit cards are like 20, 30 percent interest, which is just complete insanity. So let's imagine you have a two thousand dollar available balance on a credit card and you have a thousand out on it right now. I would suggest to pay that a thousand off. But there is one other way to handle credit utilization. And that second way is to increase your credit limit. So let's say we take that two thousand dollar credit limit you have on that card and we call the bank and we say, hey, I would like a five thousand dollar limit on that card. So now that a thousand dollars that you have on the card that was 50 percent credit utilization is now only 20 percent credit utilization. But we have to be really, really honest with ourselves. If you think that that increased limit is going to uh, increase your spending, then I would not do this. I would only pay off your debts. Only if you think that you can uh, get a hold of your credit and, and the way that you're spending right now, would I actually increase the credit limit? Because if not, if you're not going to be uh, using it in a healthy manner, I would say to just pay off your debt. Because one thing I don't want for you is for you to watch this video, then end up in a deeper hole and in a worse credit situation than when you started. The number two way to improve your credit score would be to pay your bills on time. I know, I know, I know. It's a simple thing. It's a simple fix. But a lot of people don't understand the magnitude of the effect that this has on their credit score. And truthfully, no big brain credit score knowledge is going to help you if you keep missing payments. Here's the deal. Late payments can stay on your credit report for seven and a half years. I don't even remember what I was doing seven and a half years ago. Your payment history is arguably the most influential part of your FICO score. So you really do want to stay on top of these payments because it will affect you big time. Also, one other thing that you can do today is to request a free copy of your credit report. Because sometimes there are weird things that happen with a, with a missed payment on your credit report that wasn't actually missed. Maybe you paid it on the 31st day and um, you know things should have been fine, but they weren't. You want to dispute those errors because that can have a really big effect, like I said, a seven and a half year effect on your credit report. And the number three way to improve your credit score is to add to your credit mix. Now, again, this is one of those things where I would only do it if you can really trust yourself. Now, in our case, we're looking to add a mortgage to the mix, which is great if you can afford the payments and a great start toward growing your credit mix. Now, if you're someone like me who has a million tiny little student loans, this might not affect you too much if you have a bunch of accounts already. But if you only have one credit card to your name or maybe you only have uh, a, a car loan, but that's all you have or you've never you never went to college, this can be a thing that does really affect your credit score. 
you may want to add to that credit mix but again only if you're going to make steady on time payments and this isn't going to be a reason that your your credit score goes down because taking on more debt just to miss payments is probably the worst thing that you can do but if you use some of these strategies intelligently and responsibly these are ways that you can drastically improve your credit score and help you set up for a way better financial future but that's all I got for you guys today. Again, if you really enjoyed the video, please go ahead, smash the like button. It helps me out a lot. We're 11 subscribers away on YouTube from 100. So um, if, even if you watch all my videos on Facebook, which I know a lot of people do, please go ahead and over my YouTube, go ahead and subscribe on there. Uh, we're trying to grow this channel to uh, keep giving out good real estate advice um, and good tactical advice toward how you can get a house here in the next year in 2023. So uh, again, that would help me out a lot. So please go ahead and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one, guys.